With the holidays just around the corner, I've got some gift ideas for that special runner in your life. Or hey, maybe just some ideas for ways to treat yourself instead. And these products all range in price from about 15 bucks up to $150. And I'll provide links to each product in the description below. And I've got a massage gun to give away here, valued at $130 US. So stay tuned until the end of the video to find out how you can win that. Now this first one would make a great stocking stuffer. This little massage ball is great for helping to relax the tendons of your feet and also to treat or prevent plantar fasciitis. I've had this one for a few years and the nubs have recently started to fall off. So it's not the most durable massage tool, but it's a great starting point and it's a great thing to bring with you when you travel. But I will show you another option for a foot roller later on that's much more robust. Now next up is KT tape. And this is the stuff that you sometimes see stuck all over people's body during a race to help them usually push through an injury. But that's not what I use it for. Instead, I pre-tape to prevent chafing whenever I'm running with a heavy pack, usually with a strip across my shoulders and then maybe a couple on my lower back. And I know that some women like to use it under the edges of their bras for long runs as well. And it can be great for pre-taping your feet to prevent blisters. And it never hurts to have a spare roll of this lying around. There are a bunch of brands that make this and it's pretty much all the same in my experience. Although I've had good luck with one brand that I'll link to below. And I tend to prefer the non pre-cut version that just comes in one long roll because it's a little bit cheaper and more versatile. Now, anti chafe is again, something that you can never have too much of because most runners go through quite a bit of this in a season. I like to apply it to under my armpits and around my toes and in between my thighs and other sensitive areas to prevent chafing, both from sweat when running in warm weather and of course when running in the rain. The most popular and widely available brand is Body Glide, but I prefer to use Squirrel's Nut Butter, which is all natural and it smells pretty good too. Now my hips get pretty tight, so I do a lot of rolling. And one of my favorite tools is this five inch massage ball, which is the perfect size to get right into the hip area, where a smaller lacrosse size ball is just a little bit too small. It's a pretty specialized tool, but I do think it makes a great addition to any runner's recovery toolbox. Now Audrey and I take our hydration pretty seriously, so we go through a lot of electrolyte tablets and we prefer a brand called Noon. I don't like them as much for during the run, but I do drink probably one a day, either before or after. And I think it would make the most sense if you're giving these as a gift to get a variety pack of four, since it's hard to know which flavor someone's gonna like the most. Okay, now hear me out on this next one. A lot of athletes like ourselves use shaker bottles like this for recovery shakes after the gym or after a hard workout. And I've always owned those cheap ones with the wire agitators inside and figured that they were all the same until I was in the market recently for a new one. And I came across this one on Amazon and it caught my attention precisely because it's close to double the price of most. So it got me curious how anyone could possibly improve that much on what should be such a simple tool. But the reviews convinced me to give it a shot because sometimes it's the little things that make a product just so much more useful. First of all, the inside of the bottle is rounded. There's no corner for powder to clump up and get stuck in, which always seems to happen with cheaper bottles. It's got a much better agitator and it's got a really solid lid that you have to actually click down a second time to close. And when you do, it's a really solid seal. So anyone who uses one of these on a regular basis, I promise would appreciate this. Now this next one isn't nearly as tasty, as fun, or as practical as some of these other items on this list, but an emergency bivy is a must have in my opinion for every runner who spends any time in the backcountry. Now these are very similar to those space blankets that come with Solomon packs, but these you can actually climb inside of. Now it would probably be the least comfortable sleep of your life, but it could also save your life while you wait for a rescue in an emergency situation. Now, if you wanna take your foot rolling to the next level, I'd highly recommend the R3 foot roller from Roll Recovery. This has probably become my most used recovery tool and can actually usually be found on the floor under my sit stand desk so that I can use it anytime that I'm standing while working. I probably spend a good half an hour a day using it. I tend to run in pretty minimalist shoes, so I have fairly strong feet. I don't struggle with plantar fasciitis, but I do get tight tendons under the foot, and this foot roller really seems to help with that. The middle is for your plantar fascia. This spot is for your heel, 
and the edges help to massage the muscles on the side of your feet. And you can also use it as a small, albeit aggressive, travel roller. Now this built-in water filter from Solomon was an absolute game changer when it was released a few years ago. It's similar to the Katadyn Be Free, but with an even better flow rate, allowing you to scoop up water while on a run or during a race and drink while on the go. I think these make great gifts, especially for a new runner. And even if the runner in your life already owns one, they can probably always use a second one. So I think it makes a great gift no matter what. Now I first heard about paper trails from Strava's partner page. It allows you to connect your Strava account or to upload a GPX file manually in order to get a large print made of one of your recent adventures or races. You can choose from a number of different styles and can customize different elements like the time and distance. I had this one printed out a couple of years ago for my run at Swiss Peaks 360K. And these actually start as low as about 20 bucks, including shipping, and they'll ship to 20 countries around the world. But you may wanna go a little bit bigger, and I'd probably recommend putting it at least in a cheap Ikea frame if you're gonna give it as a gift. So I'd probably budget closer to 50 or 60 bucks. This is a really great way to commemorate your own accomplishments as well. So definitely check out and support this small South African based business. You'll just need to get a copy of the person's GPX file if you are giving it as a gift, but that's something that you can do with a Strava Premium account if you have one. And speaking of Strava Premium, at about 60 bucks a year, this is the kind of thing that many runners might not buy for themselves, but would really appreciate if they were given it as a gift. A premium membership unlocks quite a few features, but for me, the most important one is the ability to download GPX files from other runners. I use this all the time when I'm planning a route and want to reference a recording from another runner in Gaia or even upload it so I can follow their route directly on my watch. It saves me having to reach out to them and beg them to send me the file. And it's probably something that I do at least on a monthly basis, which for me is worth the cost of the membership alone. And this was where I was gonna tell you how easy it is to gift a subscription and the recipient would then receive a code that they can submit online. But unfortunately, Strava support tells me that feature isn't working at the moment, but it may be back up in the future. Now, another item that in my experience, not many runners would buy for themselves, but would totally benefit from is a shoe dryer. We find ourselves using ours all the time during fall and winter here in Vancouver, where it rains more often than not. Because if your shoes sit even just overnight, they can develop mildew that will make them smell really bad the next day. But it's also bad for your shoes to dry them with heat or in the sun because even UV rays can damage them. So a specially designed dryer like this one from VersaDry will not only better fit your shoes, but also has a non-heat setting as well. And depending on the model you buy, it comes with different attachments for gloves, boots, and even helmets. So it's great for ski gear as well. And this one is designed to be portable. Now, last but not least, a good massage gun is something that every runner needs, but many I know haven't yet bothered to invest in. My favorite is the R1 Percussion Massage Gun from Roll Recovery. I mentioned this in an episode of my training diaries as well. It's much smaller and lighter weight than some of the cheaper alternatives, and it charges in less than three hours by USB-C and lasts for more than seven hours of continual use. And it's relatively quiet. Now the good folks at Roll Recovery sent me not one, but two of these. So I'm gonna give away the second one to a lucky viewer located in either the US or Canada. All you have to do is submit your email address on my website at the address below to subscribe to my newsletter. And I'll be drawing the winner next week. And if you're already subscribed to my weekly newsletter, getting notifications of my new videos, you'll be automatically included in the draw. And again, this is unfortunately only available to US and Canadian viewers, just given restrictions around shipping. Now, if you win it, of course, it's your call if you give this away or just keep it for yourself. So hopefully you found at least one or two gift ideas for that runner in your life. And if there's any other ideas that you think I should have included in this list, then tell me in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and be sure to subscribe for more videos like this.